And you know, I got like, dude, don't nobody talk about this. Mm-hmm. This is things we need to talk about. Like, nobody talks about like your like understanding the stars and like there were maps, like how yeah. to get to places, man. That's the original GPS. You know, it's no man, granted, like I love integration. Like I I think being that I'm like I feel like, you know, it's balanced that I like to assume or at least try to be like I, I can like to see or centered. Um to see both sides, like so I appreciate but here it is, yeah, yeah, and yeah. also you know it, uh, advancement in technology and yeah. bringing it all together. But also check this out. <laughs> so, bro, bro, at certain times of the day, bro, certain times of the day and minutes mm-hmm. is correlated to the zodiac. So okay. now, on the, everything is to cor- your zodiac sign. So, like, if no. I'm an Aries, then it is, or if I'm a Sagittarius, then that's how it is, You're- or. It's just affected by you're all of it. You're not so your sun and your moon. Mm-hmm. So your sun and your moon. Everybody. That's why everybody. Everybody really just looked at the sun. Yeah, that's why that, that's that, true. When you do your yeah. horoscope, it's always the sun. It's always that. the sun. Yeah, the only the moon. Like you're all the planets. You are all of these things. You are air, earth, and water. Mm-hmm. And, um, and uh, air, earth, water, fire. You're mm-hmm. all the elements, right? So you're yeah. all like all these over that. Everything's correlated with fire with the elements. Start with the elements. And then you go, and then, then you can get deeper. Start with air, earth, wind, and fire, bro, mm-hmm. and then, then go from there. That's mm-hmm. what like really helped me to kind of understand even more of the body. But it's just understanding, like, and I don't have like again, I, I'm uh, this is not, this is not so, like it's like oh well, I'm gonna take this time and you no, know, this is gonna be for me. Mm-hmm. It's it's understanding, understanding all of it yes yeah. and who and like yeah. how your yeah. power works bro mm-hmm. so like between 12 and 2 that's Sagittarius 12, between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. And 2 PM is Sagittarius time it's my boy son 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. is Scorpio time right, uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. is Libra time 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. is Virgo time 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. is Leo time 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. is Cancer time 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. is Gemini time. 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. is Taurus time. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. is Aries. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. is Pisces. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is Aquarius. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. is Capricorn. Now, if you understand, now if you understand like, what, like the traits of each zodiac, right? You're like, okay. Then you can pull from that energetic force. Mm-hmm. Like you have access to all these energies. That's why we all have the collective. Feeling, oh shit! Like yesterday, man. Like oh man, I'm every everybody I knew had an effed up day, and I, you know, just cause of, just cause of the transits alone. I'm like, now sorry, like, oh here it is. I, and you start reading people. If you understand the day, you understand like you, you kind of you gotta have a better grasp of what the what the energy's like. You kind of get a grasp of what the day's like. It's like it's a like a code to the day. It's like a code to the self, and then like the minutes are the moon sign. Mm-hmm. So. Your days, your sun, like your months is the sun. The days are the moon. The hours are the sun and the minutes are the moon. Bro, and then we go deeper. Like you get deeper than that. Like the Sagittarius is thighs, liver, sciatic nerve. So think about, so I started thinking, I was like, yo. So then at those times of day, so for Mm -hmm. example, 12 to 2 where you're talking about Sagittarius and then it affects those. So then at those times, those organs are affected. Is that what you're saying? So I'm thinking, what right, saying? I'm thinking, uh, and this is what I've been trying to pull. And I'm going to, uh, you know, this is what I'm trying to pull. Um, like, if it's at that time, then it has the most energy at that point. Okay. So what can I do? So now With that knowledge. With that knowledge, do? right? Yeah. So this even has this information, man, just to try to understand this. I'm like, yo, I have to understand the body more. Even understanding, like, yo, well, I got energy around this time, but I'm, like, mm. sleepy around this time. And you're saying, you know, it's, so could that, or, I mean, again, we're all just, we're, no, no, we're no, coming yeah. up with this as we come we go along, but could it be that, you know, your own um, sign could be in correlation to that, too. So to keep it individual, right? Because then if you're just saying that, okay, from 12 to 2, and it means everybody's Sagittarius from 12 to 2. No, that is the, it's, it's the energy. So think of it like, mm-hmm. so everybody is a walking embodiment of an energetic transit. Mm-hmm. So think about, okay, so meaning... Uh, let's say today's transit, it, you know, let's, uh, let's look at it, like... I'm gonna just call out. I'm gonna just call out a couple. Um, 
Shout out to Tom Passage. So <laughs> Tom Passage. Yeah. Uh, uh, so today is like Sun in Aries, Moon in Aries, Mercury in Taurus, Venus in Gemini, Mars in Cancer, Jupiter in Aries, Saturn in Pisces, Uranus in Taurus, Neptune in Pisces, Pluto in Aquarius, uh, and Chiron in Aries. Mm 